Russia says it's beginning to draw back some troops from near the Ukrainian border, giving hope that there could be an easing of tensions in Eastern Europe. But there is skepticism over whether Russia is actually doing what it's saying. Lauren Blanchard has more from Washington. We have not uh, seen any de-escalation on the ground. On the contrary, uh, it appears that Russia continues the military buildup. Russian President Vladimir Putin says he's drawing back some of the 150,000 troops built up on three sides of Ukraine, but neither the U.S. nor NATO allies can find evidence he's doing so. Despite this, Russian video supposedly showing units packing up. We have not yet verified the Russian military units are returning to their home bases. Indeed, our analysts indicate that they remain very much in a threatening position. The U.S. has threatened Russia with crippling sanctions. We are very tired of these threats that are repeated daily like a mantra. Moscow wants assurances Ukraine cannot join NATO and denies it was ever planning to invade, calling it Western hysteria. I wouldn't say it amuses us, but it profoundly puzzles us. The West feels entitled to dictate how we should behave, whatever we do on our territory. Analysts say even if there is no invasion this week, it's still possible in the future. I say at one point in time he does invade. In Kiev, Ukrainians celebrating a day of national unity after President Volodymyr Zelensky declared the day a holiday. We show that uh, we uh, in unity and solidarity. There is concern Russia could retaliate against U.S.-imposed sanctions through cyber warfare. President Biden warned Americans energy prices could go up if war breaks out overseas. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News.